This is an older model of Baby Jogger City Elite, and the front wheel is not entirely as tight as it should be. Uh, this is the sort where the front wheel is not uh, removable, or at least not easily removable. And so I'm going to show you how to open up this uh, front assembly in order to uh, oil and tighten up the um, fork that connects to the front wheel. So the first thing you'll need to do is to remove the little cap here over the swivel uh, pin. And you'll need a flathead screwdriver. Uh, I've already removed it partially to make it easier for the video, but uh, you need a small flathead screwdriver and you'll just pry it up, get this small cap. Inside there is a screw that you'll need to remove. And this is connected to the braking pin on the bottom. So you'll want to hold underneath with your finger because the braking pin and the little spring are going to pop out as soon as that screw is disconnected. And you don't want to lose those parts. There we go. And from the bottom, we have the small braking pin and uh, a little spring. So the next step is to remove these four screws. Now, <clears throat> here, where you have uh, the pictures that say straight and swivel, this is actually a sticker. You're going to want to remove this. If you're careful with it, then you can put it back on afterwards. Uh, you can use a little bit of super, super glue. But in any case, you'll need to remove this partially because underneath there is yet another screw that needs to be removed. Now at this point, you can remove this entire plastic plate and you'll see that this whole fork is held in place just with this screw. So we're going to remove this bolt, I mean. take it off so that we can oil in there before we tighten it up. There we go. And there's a washer there as well. and we've just hammered it out. So now I'm going to um, grease this up with some thicker grease, get it from like a car supply store, and then afterwards I'm going to use a WD-40 to get it really smooth. While we're at it, we'll also oil up inside the uh, brake pin. You want to get grease both on the flat surfaces that, that connect together and on the pins and in the holes as much as possible. I find that combining both uh, WD-40 and this grease gives the smoothest result. Slide it back in. Now as you're um, tightening this nut again, you'll want to just 
check how well the front wheel swivels so that you don't over tighten because you do need it to swivel smoothly. a good balance between smoothness of rotation and tightness. Then we will replace the brake parts. No, actually, first we need to put this plastic piece back on. find that this is not sufficient for tightening the front fork, uh, it may mean you need to add a second washer underneath that nut that was in there. Because sometimes the parts can get worn down and uh, you'll just need it in order to close the distance. sideways so we can fit these brake things in. Make sure that the spring goes on top of the braking pin. I'm going to slide it right into the hole back there. It's a square hole. And then there's another video that uh, deals more specifically with the braking or the locking mechanism for the front wheel. Hold it with your finger. Put this in. 